Hi, this is Ben from Frosty Computers. Uh, today we will be taking a in-depth look at the GX620-038 as well as the GX620-039. The only difference between the two is that uh, the 039 has a Blu-ray optical drive. Uh, let's take a look at some of the specs here. Um, the first thing I did was I changed the resolution for view YouTube viewers um, to 800 by 600 because of the video streaming quality on YouTube is usually kind of low but uh, the native resolution on this uh, puppy is actually uh, 1024 uh, I'm sorry it's actually the resolution is actually 1680 by 1050 which is WSXJ plus that's the native resolution on, and that uses the NVIDIA GeForce 9600 uh, MGT uh, of course you can but for for the video sake, we're leaving at 800 by 600. Uh, we'll take some uh, take a quick look at some of the specs here. Um, first thing I have is device manager. Um, you can see that it has Bluetooth. Uh, we can look at the the hard drive. It's a Western Digital 320 gig. Uh, of course, you can upgrade this to a 7200 if you like. Uh, you got the display adapter, the 9600 MGT uh, DVD CD. RW on this particular machine. Uh, also has a modem made by Motorola. Processor looks like the Core 2 Duo 8600 2.4 gigahertz. Pretty slamming system if you ask me. Uh, it's got all the bells and whistles. NVIDIA HDMI audio and Realtek uh, high definition audio. The HDMI on this machine will definitely do 1080p so um, you know you can definitely hook that up to any uh, LCD, plasma TV, as you're liking here. Uh, let's take another look at uh, some other stuff here. Let's see here. I have uh, some more detailed system properties. Um, let's see here. You can see the sound devices. Uh, what else? Display NVIDIA G a 9600M. It looks like they actually have. They actually give you. 536 megabytes of RAM, but after the memory allocation, it's about 512. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else can we see here? Let's take a look at uh, the Windows Experience Index or Vista Experience Index. Looks like it's got a 5.3 score, memory 5.9, graphics 5.9, gaming graphics 5.6, primary hard drive 5.3. Not too not too shabby if you ask me. Uh, it's a great ma little machine here. Um, you can also configure this machine on frostycomputers.com. Uh, here it is with the specs and everything. Um, if you want to add like your D your uh, Blu-ray, you can always add that. And these are the detailed specs. And this one actually has a uh, let's see, a extended nine-cell battery, which you can purchase. Uh, it's not in stock right now, but it will be uh, later on. Uh, let's see, what else did I have here? Um, I also had a 3D mark, uh, you know, just a, a test. Uh, you can maybe run some uh, low resolution uh, tests on 3D mark and just see, uh, you know, what kind, of, what kind of frames we can get just on some basic stuff. It looks like here I'm getting uh, 61 frames. And it's just like a basic uh, test. Looks like uh, uh, you know some soldiers shooting each other, stuff like that. Pretty cool. Um, I guess this is the main main test. Looks like we're getting about 39, 40 frames, uh, 56. Um, one thing that I did want to show you guys was um, basically the um, the turbo feature on this, which is really cool. Um, when you when you hit the turbo button. You actually uh, increase the front side bus on the CPU, which uh, you know basically translates to a couple more frames when you're in the game. Um, we can take a look at that as well. Um, I guess we'll exit.